Join us right now with analysis, Heritage Foundation Tech Fellow, Kara Frederick. Kara, good morning to you. Thanks for having me. She gave exactly the wrong answer because the FBI says never pay. And she goes, it's up to the companies. If they pay, there's just going to be more ransomware out there. Exactly. Steve, in life, success engenders success. And cybercrime is no different. It's why long ago we didn't negotiate with terrorists. You know, we send in the exactly. seals when there's a hostage it, because we don't want these criminals to bank on their success and, and keep going. And we've seen this happen. It's only gotten worse. Ransomware demands, they were a few hundred dollars in Bitcoin. And now, since municipalities in the U.S. have paid throughout 2019, throughout 2020, to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's only gotten worse. Right. Yes, these companies, they face a tough choice, but publicly advertising that dilemma from that specific podium, just bad form. Sure. And you look at uh, where the pipeline runs and millions of Americans have been impacted. But you just touched on something in that soundbite, Kara. Bitcoin. This would not happen without the anonymity of Bitcoin. So that Bitcoin is really interesting. And I think there are new technical solutions that involve chains of custody, that involve uh, secure communications. Um, one thing I do want to point out, when it comes to that EO, they talked about end-to-end -end encryption. They talked about two-factor identification. If we can front load those cyber defenses in that way, um, another thing is having a zero trust approach. So just not trusting that these people are shoring up their systems, right. especially federal vendors that work with the government. We need to make sure that we invest in cyber security and sure. you talked about bitcoin these new technical solutions they're right. going to go a long way in in helping with individual freedoms to take it to that level they're going to go a long way in mm -hmm. securing our sure. communications and our transactions well you know i'm sure that the men and women at cyber command are trying to track down where these uh these hackers are and we know that it's probably in russia and for the average american when they hear that kira they say you know Shouldn't the United States federal government be protecting us from Russia? So it's like, OK, what's up with that? Exactly. Well, I think the Trump administration went a long way in loosening some of the restrictions on these offensive cyber operations. And that means we can impose costs on nation states that are complicit in these attacks. Good. You know, there's a spectrum of complicity when it comes to this. Um, Jason Healy has, talks about the spectrum of national responsibility. Sometimes these cyber criminals operate within jurisdictions of nation states with explicit imprimatur. Sometimes they just have tacit approval. But we need to hone down. They can't keep hiding behind behind right. the problem of attribution, and we need to actually be aggressive and take it to these right. nation states because they're doing this on purpose, even I, if they're using right. cyber criminals to do so. I want them to track them down, and I want them to get arrested, and I want to see the perp walk on TV. That would be <laughs> quite a message. Uh, Kara Frederick from Heritage, thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. All right. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.